Yo, this is the Tunnel Place, Pokemon Soul Silver. I've been doing a bit of training since the last episode, fighting off against the trainers in the water here, and also fighting against wild Pokemon in the water, and some missing trainers I had in the lighthouse, and so on. And my Pokemon team has been quite buffed up now, let me even show you what I mean. Fluffy, Pidgeotto, Croconos, to the Voodoo, Scyther, and Rocky. More importantly, Pidgeotto was technically to be my main man in this here, but he's had a new move set, Twister. A Dragon-type special move, which can flinch. It's good against other dragons, but generally not as super strong. But here comes the cool thing. Scyther has become one of my main killers now of fighting types. That is because he's a bug in flying, but more importantly, his wing attack. That's a physical move, and look at his stats. His 66 attack power, that's gonna make things much more interesting. So we have to see about that. You see, also I learned Fury Cutter, which is a... Uh, Pretty good move as well, fighting with bug types. So you yeah, generally have to see if this how this will do, but yeah. Thing is that being bug and flying makes Scyther one of the best Pokemon to use in this gym. That's one of the reasons why I actually kept him for so long. He's the gym Pokemon nightmare. He's gonna kill gym he's gonna kill this Pokemon like nothing. But of course, you have to be careful because even a Scyther can go down. Look at his uh, defense, it's not that bad. But in general, he might be struggling. So a lot of fighting type Pokemon here to fight. You can also use Psychic types if you have to, not just flying types. It's kinda up to you how you want to fight, but generally you have to be a bit careful. I do remember though that despite bug type Pokemon, Todd is calling me, Camper Todd. Talking about his Psyduck. Yeah, that's good for you. Anyways, uh, fighting type Pokemon, despite uh, not doing a lot of damage to bug type Pokemon, also don't take a lot of damage from bug type moves either. So they're kind of like uh, against each other there. But despite that, Scyther is my man here. Along with Pidgeot is doing really well. And Sudowoodo, Rocky, they more like support here. They don't really do well. Flaffy actually. It, can be good as well with Thunder Wave. But damaging here is going to be Pidgeotto and Scyther, who will be the key here. Especially Scyther with his mega resistance to fighting type Pokemon. She's going to give him a shot right away. Look at Scyther, looks so pretty cool. And let's go inside the Sinwood City Gym. Where's the guy here? Isn't he here? Now basically when I wonder, how long did guys already here? So in this training, he doesn't even seem to notice you. Yeah, that's Chuck. That's the gym leader of Sinwood City. Basically, he's been focusing by in the waterfall. In order to fight him, we need to go up to the top to close the waterfall. Then he'll fight us. Let's do that right away. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. If that's how you want to do things, sure. Versus Black Belt Knob. With two Pokemon first will be a match shot. 25, pretty good level. There's my Scyther. Scyther, wing attack. Scyther is a flying type Pokemon as well, so he gets a step bonus. That's gonna KO match up. So well good start here already with Scyther. Next up will be Machoke, the evolved form of Match Up. Wing attack, let's use that right away on Machuk. It's much more tankier, but even he will succumb to the power of Scyther. Scyther's power is just so good. Really nice. With Black Belt Knob, who has basically no words for his loss. And I would say it's his own fault. Let's skip this guy, let's go up here. Let's battle this Black Belt as well. Martial artists fear nothing. Everyone fears something, I'm pretty sure of that. Black Belt Lao with Hitmon Shan. Look at that, yeah, he's the boxer Pokemon. Not as strong as Hitmon Lee, but he has a lot of cool moves such as Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Mac Punch, you name it, he has it. There's a Mac Punch right there. The Mac Punch is working the same way as a quick attack. First strike. And look at that damage. Scyther is killing fighting type Pokemon like that. 
I don't care about your muscles, Scyther will puncture through. And Scyther goes to level 26 already. That's shocking. That's shocking indeed. Scyther is so strong. Probably my favorite bug type Pokemon in that exists. Yeah, many people forget about this, but under here there's actually a tunnel. You can go under here, go up here, and you can stop the wind here to stop the waterfall. This will cause uh, Chuck to be battleable, which you maybe want to do right away as well. So let's just get these people up here to get some XP. It's free XP for our reasons. A raging fist will shatter your Pokémon. Well, let's see then. Against Black Belt Lung with three Pokémon. First up will be Mankey. Thank you, Mankey. I'll send in my Scyther in return. Wing attack on the Mankey. That's gonna be a little damage. I'm gonna KO a little Mankey because Mankey is more of an offensive type. My Mankey is like the, the sparrow of fighting types. Basically, it's much faster, has higher attack power than Machop, but it's much lower in health and defense. Mac Primeape as well. Kind of the same thing here as Pharaoh. High attack, high speed, low defense, low health. Even the Primeape goes down with a single wing attack. That just says everything about Primeape. And here comes Mankey. So it's two Mankeys, one Primeape. That's gonna just be fodder for my sweet Scyther. Scyther, go wing attack again. Such strong Pokemon inside there. Takes out the Mankey as well. And my Pokemon from the bug catching contest is ripping through Sealwood City Gym. I got shattered. You can say that again for sure. Let's see, we have one more fighting uh, Black Belt to fight before we end this. Let's go across and fight this guy as well. My Pokemon are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Never say never, mister. Here we go against Black Belt Yoshi with one Pokemon. His Pokemon will be Hitman Lee. Well, Hitman Lee is much more aggressive than Hitman Chan. Hitman Chan sacrifices a lot of attack for more defense. This guy is just all out attack, and he has some super powerful moves, such as the high jump kick. If that lands, it's gonna be devastating. High jump kick has 130 power, 90 accuracy, but that's devastating. Plus with his high attack power, there's one reason why Hitman Lee is my favorite for people who use the Hitman family. But then again, if you outspeed him and you land a wing attack, he won't survive it. That's the problem with Hitman Lee, he's just too much of a glass cannon. And if you don't, if you don't have the speed, he's going to suffer. But Scyther will relinquish in this, levels up again, 71 attack power now, that's a lot. This isn't real. Oh, but it is real. I'm gonna pet my Scyther. I don't know if he's gonna like you though. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I always want to pick up a Scyther at the bug catching contest because even though his power is so-so until he gets some good moves such as Fury Cutter and the Wing Attack, that's really when Scyther goes good. Now Fury Cutter has kind of low power, but if you keep fighting a Pokemon that is kind of like tanky, then you just use Fury Cutter spam and the Pokemon will just faint eventually. That's just so good. There we go, and let's go ready for our next gym battle. If we beat Chuck, we'll get badge number 5. That's exactly what we want. So when you're ready, go inside here and let's do a battle. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you exit the uh, gym, you'll have to go through this again. But luckily you can just go up here, just uh, undo this again. The waterfall will stop once more. I guess Chuck was angry at that. Like, oh, who took out of my water source? And we leave and like, oh, it must be that kid. Let's put it on again. And we go out and I guess back up. And I guess this guy must be pissed now. Well, let's see how much power he has as we go against Chuck off the sea and to the gym. Ugh, the pounding water from right onto my head. Ah! Why did you stop the water from, from powering on me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I'm a strong trainer training every day under this waterfall. What has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we should do battle. Ha! I guess this guy is a much more different thing like that, but here we go! Chuck of the Seawood City! We beat him, we get the Storm Badge! He has two Pokémon, the first will be Rhyme. This one's level 29, so be careful. I'll start with Wing Attack. 
get the first move. Will we KO the Prime Weapon in one single hit? Oh, we will. The critical hit. Good timing there, Scyther. You are so great. Almost a thousand XP from this Prime Ape. And this final Pokemon is going to be Poliwroth. That's the fully evolved version of Poliwag, the evolved version of Poliwhirl. You get Poliwrath if you chose to evolve Poliwhirl with a Water Stone rather than to evolve it with King's Rock. Okay, so, shall we send out Fluffy or shall we send out Scyther for going up against Poliwrath? Poliwrath is a dual type water fighting Pokemon, so electric types and flying types will both do well here. Let's actually get in Fluffy so we can get him some paralysis. Fluffy in against Poliwrath of Seawood City's gym leader Chuck. We haven't lost yet! Oh, what you will soon. Look at Polyrath, level 31. It's high level. And it's gonna put up on hypnosis, which is gonna make things even worse. Nothing much we can do about that. We fall asleep. Fluffy falls asleep, but we're gonna try to see if we can go up right away. Let's go up to the status healers and select Awakening. And put it on Fluffy. Awakening used. And Fluffy is going to recover from sleep. But Polyrath will get a turn. Polyrath. Tightening his focus. This is focus punch. Look at that. It's one hit KO, but the static's gonna paralyze Polyrath. So even though we didn't get to do any damage here, that's fine. Our mission was successful. We got him paralyzed. Now we can go with our real deal. Pidgeotto, do you wanna fight next? Or should we go into Scyther? No, Scyther, you cleanse the gym. You get the credit here. Scyther in versus Polyrath. Go in with the wing attack. On Polymer. How much damage will we do? Over half. He has a citrus berry. He will recover 30 health. Back in the rain zone. Alright, this paralyzed. He cannot move. Good for us. Let's do a fury cutter on Polymer. Won't do much damage though. That's because Polybrot is better resistant. And we got paralyzed as well. This is really troubling. Both Pokemon are paralyzed. But Scyther gets the first hit because he's faster. Wing attack lands. And that's gonna KO Polyrath. That was intense. Both paralyzes, but Scyther is quicker. And 1228 XP richer. Scyther goes to level 28. Beat Chuck. We lost. You did indeed. Hmm, I lost? How about that? Alright, you're worthy of the Storm Badge. We get the Storm Badge from Chuck, and our badge collection goes from 4 to 5. The Storm Badge lets your Pokemon fly to any city or town you've already been to. Here, take this too. We get TM number 1. Yes! That's this Focus Punch. It doesn't land if the foe you're attacking hits you first. It's very powerful, it manages to hit. Yeah, that's the key about Focus Punch. If you do Focus Punch, you will last hit, but if you don't take damage, Focus Punch is gonna do a lot of damage. That's seen with City Gym Badge. Then you should take this A-Gem. Oh, nice, you get an A-Gem as well. Really nice. Teach flight to your Pokémon. You're able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. And our mom is calling us again. What item we bought for us, Mom? I guess so. Well, not much we can do about that. Let's just go to the Pokémon check what have we gotten from our mother this time. Is there even a Pokémon here? I'm pretty sure there's a Pokémon in this town. Or not. No worries, though. No Pokémon. That's not really any problem because we got ourselves a. Yeah, we have a new agent, guys, so let's go and get it right away. And the best thing is that we have two Pokemon that can use Fly. And we really want to use Fly on uh, Pidgeotto right away, because we need some powerful physical move on Pidgeotto. Let's use Fly on Pidgeotto. Let's replace the Gust. Gust was not that bad, but special attack is not the key of Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto is more powerful attack. Even though this Pidgeotto has increased special attack and reduced speed, but that's fine though. We go for Fly for much more power for Pidgeotto. Learns Fly. 
We also want to learn fly on the Scyther. But here's the problem though. Scyther doesn't know how to fly. I think that's kind of crazy. He's a flying type after all. But Scyther was not meant to carry people. That's the reason why he cannot fly. Scyther is not really meant to fly a lot. Which is kind of a weird thing. Not much we can do about it though. So we have to stick stick with uh, both Scyther and Pidgeotto if we want to use both a flying type and someone who can fly us. We cover our Pokemon and we can basically start going right away. We'll check out our new fly though. Let's do it right away. Let's go in here and select Pidgeotto and select fly. Now we can fly to all towns we visited before. We can visit, we can visit all towns except for Mahogany Town and Blackthorn City. Let's just go back to Olivan City and let's go to the Pokemon right away so we can uh, get ourselves the super cool item. Which is what we got in the Pokemon from our mother. Let's check it out, what it is. A package, it's gonna be chillin' berries. Not bad, not bad at all, I like it. We have more? We have one more! Silk Scarf! Pretty nice. Six Scarf is a hold item which increases power of normal type attacks. Another package, number three, Culber Berries. Where'd you get all these berries from? She has like a garden or something? I don't know where packages. Three packages for that, that's pretty cool. Before we end this episode though, we have to want to do one more thing. Let's go up here and deliver the super secret potion to Amphi at the lighthouse. Go up the elevator. Ding dong! Let's deliver the secret potion to Amphi right away. Will that medicine cure Amphi? And the secret potion to Jasmine. Let's see what happens. And please don't be offended. I don't take anything from anyone but me. How are you feeling? And just like that, look what's happening! Yay! Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you very much. I have returned to the gym. This actually means we can go for the next gym badge already. Though I won't really do it though, because we are going to do something else now that we have fly. Do some exploring first in the next episode, but after episode after that, we're gonna go and challenge Jasmine in the Olivine City Gym before we move on to our adventure. So this is coming of this episode. We have badge number five, we have fly, we deliver secret potion, we can now do gym number six. Which we'll do in the one of the next episodes. But we're gonna do something else first. Oh Baba! Oh hi Satano. This is Warden Baba. Sorry to kept you waiting. We finally opened the safari zone. You know where it is? You know the gate inside the cavern in Cinnamon City? You go through there and walk for a short while. You shall soon see the safari zone. A little up for the way, but please come visit. Maybe should visit the safari zone next episode. That guy should do. I don't think about it. Regardless of that, we're not gonna do the gym next episode. We're gonna do something else at least. I have some things planned. Maybe we'll do safari zone as well. And then after that, we're gonna go for the Olivine City gym. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's commit for now, so I'll see you guys next time. Because my story of Pokemon Soul Silver is going to continue. See you guys next time.